BBC Radio Lincolnshire, Lincoln City through to the quarterfinals of the EFL Trophy and uh, well he nearly was the match winner, I think we can claim him as the match winner, Sean Rowan, uh, well done on your first goal, how does it feel? Yeah it feels very good, um, score my first goal, I was on the way on the way to the stadium today and when my granddad passed away a couple of years ago I always said I'd score my first goal for him when he died so I just thought of it today coming in the car and I, I just thought I would score and I had the feeling that I did and um, I could hear Mark in the background go and make the back post and I did and uh, I was running up to him and I thought it would be a it was a difficult finish but I just tried keeping it down and then luckily it went in. How difficult was this surface to play on tonight? Um, yeah it was, it was difficult but like you have to be willing to play on any surface and that was today look it's been cold weather and luckily we played because footballers we want to play so we don't want games called off and um, so we did play and thank god we did play it was it was tough but we never moaned we got on with it and we got the job done uh, and a real topsy-turvy game as well to play and it, it was a, a tough one probably everton giving you a, a real difficult test tonight yeah we knew from the start from when we were in training on thursday when we were doing the from uh, the analysis that they were tough they were going to be tough and um, we were coming into the game as as any other game and they look like a proper team and sometimes you come up with the 21s and they're not tough but today they showed they were tough they won a lot of duels they um the counter attack was very good and they scored two goals against us um don't think many teams has this season but um yeah they were very tough but we as i said we came in with the mindset that they were is a normal game so and getting over the line as well, that final kind of spell in the game where they had a little bit of pressure watching from the sidelines. Did you always feel confident in, in the players that you had on the pitch to get the job done and see it over the line because that's what you're used to in League One? Yeah, of course we did. Um, like we've been under the cosh a lot this season. Uh, Ipswich away and I can keep on naming, naming that's football. We got like teams are under the spell. We put teams under the sword sometimes, so just have to deal with it. Um, and we we come um, on the good side most of the time, and we believe in ourselves, and that's what we have to do. So we all we always knew that we'd if we were compact, we stayed together, we'd um, be able to soak up the pressure they gave us. The manager spoke a lot about yourself and Jamie Robson this season, and the battle you've got, the personal battle, a friendly one that it is. What is it like having each other push the other one all the way? Yeah, it's it's, it's excellent. Like every day, day in, day out. Um, he was starting the, se the season and I started a good few games and then he's came in the last couple of weeks but I came in today and that's that's what we have to do, you come in and you have to show the manager what you can do and what you can give on a Saturday um, and Jamie Robson has been doing well so I just have to keep on pushing him and pushing him in training and hopefully I do get the jersey back. Getting closer to a possible Wembley final, this club's been there before obviously not just in the league but in this competition as well, does that start to play on your mind when you reach this stage do you think? Uh, a little bit, um, but we take game by game and the manager is level headed that he always says we take game by game, if you don't win the game we're not going to Wembley so the next game we have to make sure we win that and then we have to make sure we win the next game if we do get through so it's just game by game and hopefully we do get it. Well, well done on your goal tonight. Cheers, Enjoy man. It. Thank That's, you. Uh, Sean